Okay, now I want to review uh, multiplication, which is a fundamental concept in mathematics. So we'll start with uh, 4 times 2, a very simple multiplication problem. But let's take a look at what this means. What this is saying is that we have four number of things and we want to repeat it twice. So visually, this what this is saying is that we have four number of thin of lines, one, two, three, four, and we have two sets of these, one and two. So again, we have two sets, one, two, of four lines. And actually, when we add these lines up, we'll in fact get the answer. Alright, we have some thunder and lightning outside, but we can still go ahead and teach mathematics. Alright, so we'll start with another problem here. We have 4 times 3. Very simple, but let's look at it visually. What this is saying is that we have three sets, one, two, three, of four lines, one, two, three, four. And again, when we add these together, we'll in fact get the answer 12. Now, I want to do something here and have three times four. Now, we can see that these two problems are the same, and they in fact have the same answer. But, the way they are arranged visually is different. What this problem is saying is that we have four sets of three lines, one, two, and three. But as you can see, all we did was rearrange the way they are set up, and so the answer is actually the same. So this is a visual way of looking at multiplication. Okay, now we're going to take a look at a complex multiplication problem. Let's have, for example, 734 times 52. Again, the way this is set up, we have like terms combined with each other. We have the ones, the tens, and the hundreds all stacked on top of each other. So we can first start on the right. We're going to start first with the number 2 and multiply it with each number on the top. So starting on the right, we have 4 times 2, which is equal to 8. Now we'll look at 3 times 2, which is equal to 6. And 7 times 2, which is equal to 14. Okay, so we're done with 2. Now we're going to look at the 5. But if you look this at another way, the 5 is actually a 50. So, since this is in the tens place, we're actually going to have to start putting our answers in the tens spot down here. So, we can actually put a zero here to help you remember where to start. So, we're going to look at 5 and 4 and multiply them together, which is equal to 20. We only have room for one digit, so we'll place the zero here and carry the 2 on top of the 3. Looking at this, we have 5 times 3 which is equal to 15 and we're going to add the 2 so our result is going to be 17 again we have only one place for one digit we'll place the 7 down here and the 1 up on the hundreds place 
next we have 7 times 5 which is equal to 35 and add the 1 we have 36 now with these two numbers we're going to add both of them together so we're done with multiplication so starting on the right we have 8 plus 0 is equal to 8 6 plus 0 is equal to 6 4 plus 7 is equal to 11 carry the 1 6 plus 1 plus 1 is equal to 8 and we just have a 3 so we'll carry it down and as you can see our final answer is 38,168 which is a very large number but when you're multiplying numbers together the number gets very large fast so this is a multiplication problem